Howdy caddies, weekly walkabout time at the collector. We've been really busy, need some more cool stuff, and I hope you've been well. <laughs> We've got another little gully perfume bottle. This one's had his head off and he's been glued back on, but he's pretty cool in his original box. Lovely Mexican silver pendant, really nice little Chinese cameo glass snuff bottle. There's lovely other perfume bottles, little snuff bottles. This little blue enameled one here is a lovely little sort of 18th century enameled one. Got a nice little gold brooch. Little fob medallion, lot 178. It's a pretty interesting bit, 1920s. It's a bicycle club, St Albans track, I think. A uh, little trophy. There's a lovely Chinese silver bracelet over the back there. We've got more really nice paperweights, Strathern and Caithness. White Friars. We really like the glass perfume bottle or atomizer over the back with little hand painted pagodas. There's better pictures of this stuff online. Guerlain bottles, lovely little um, purse. Miniature Chanel bottles. There's lots of nice jewellery and stuff this week. Little Dali bottles. Little Britain's little farm set again. Some cool costume. There's lots of nice stuff in the jewellery cabinet. What else have we got? It's pretty cool, little St Kilda Saints table. This is pretty amazing, the Hollywood Regency, huh? Look at that side table. The gold cherubs and everything. Pretty fancy pants. Nice little Kalmar side table, needs to tidy up on the top. Really like this cedar hall table. It's got a lovely big split in it. And it's got the coffee cup stain. I like it, I like the big legs on it. And the fact that the back legs are actually the same as the front. Nice thing. Big lot of glass and crystal. There's some cool men's clothing. Like an African top, a brand new 70s top. Some co other cool brand new sort of 1960s, 70s men's dress shirts. Pretty cool men's 1940s two-piece blue pinstripe suit. Double breasted. There's a couple of little sort of moth holes and stuff in it, but a bit of blue texture will fix that. Hickory shaft golf clubs. There's a couple of Molly Dukas in there. Soft toys, wombats, and sort of Australian native aminals, old books, new books, boxes of mixed stuff, golf clubs, mini um, mirror covers. There's some cool ladies' clothing in amongst there as well. Oh, so we got big lot of golf clubs, some sort of Australian historical books. A little display cabinet. Couple of bits of veneer coming off. Old 80s Toshiba, I think it is, stereo system or TIAC. Some more of these little tables, a Melbourne Olympic one in amongst there and a plain one. But some of the um, legs and frames are a bit chewy on them. You can see some of the veneers come off the top of that one. What else? Slot car set, there's no cars, but we've put some snake comics with it. Miniature perfume bottles with their contents. Some really nice little bits of ephemera here. Catalogue, I think, from Marks & Co. Jewelers in Ballarat, which is really quite nice in amongst that little group. 1942-43 uh, clothing sort of pattern book as well during World War II. Uh, some VFA footage medallions. Nice little lot of jewellery and bottles. These are interesting, all these sort of first day covers without stamps. Souvenir covers. Uh, Richmond Cricket Club, some tie bars and stuff, some motoring gear, a couple of nice little sort of Sheraton style chairs, I think. A little collection of furniture. What else have we got? Boxes of pretty English china, some wood, some nice old linen and sort of lace and stuff in amongst here, embroidered stuff, books and stuff, skateboards down the back, blow torches, irons. Boxes of sort of blokey gear, this little kid's sort of electric car works and it's got the charger. Heaps of old tennis rackets, there's some rippers in that lot. Yeah, it's a cool bit, the big 1970s sort of Ellis pottery lamp, it's marked to the base MD Ellis. It's a ripper. We've got more sort of books, military related books. Um, these are all sort of philatelic ephemera, 
some more sort of military books, novels, Victorian municipal directories, some nice little sort of scale cases with a jerry can, little mixed group lot with the old cracker barrel jar, some Australian sort of Aboriginal related books. Uh, what else have we got? This is all Australian sort of exploration stuff. Nice big sort of 1960s buttock. This is a nice pastel by Jack Guthrie. Julian Andrew Grieve, big sort of mixed media oil, Island Girls. I think this is a little Aboriginal oil by Jane Gimme. And this nice big sort of garden scene oil on canvas, which is signed M. Horman and dated 1991. Just a nice big decorative thing. Now, so we got some wooden items. Jewelry, a couple of nice old books, a little lot of teapots, um, old man magazine, some sort of retro kitcheny stuff, the nice Danish mixing bowl, perfume bottles, matchbox dinkies, paperweight references, more nice perfume bottles, all sort of crowns, a barrel of beer, reproduction gidget goes Hawaiian poster, some more cool ephemera. Paperweight reference, matchbox, good little lot of Biggles and Noddy books. I heard that they were mates. Johnny Walker jug, some Lalik perfume, more matchbox dinkies. These are great little 1980s sharp double cassette deck, little white one. Really like this sort of deco sort of rug from the 1930s, maybe a bit later. This is a cool old, old umbrella. It's got Hampton Rovers Footy Club, little sort of dudes caricatures on there. More matchboxes, Polaroid, Worcester, sort of Australian and Melbourne sort of history books. It's a cool group. More matchboxes, a lot of Oriental items, nice lot of glass, a couple of books, Philip Island and the Frank Clune. Another little group like with a nice little French crystal atomizer. A couple of nice bits of Dalton. They've both got a little damage. He's got a little chip. You can see just here. And this one's got a hairline crack through it, which is a bit of a shame. Some more miniature perfumes and their contents. Those two nice bits of Dalton that are in good condition. Models of SDF fire engines. Pretty cool expandable sort of makeup mirror. Old newspapers, ephemera, World War II. Nice big book on Australian industries. There you go. You got a novelty Winnie the Winnie the Pooh phone. More matchboxes, Australian aviation sort of books. Paperweights. Here's a little sort of curling. Um, can't remember what they're called, but they've got the little handles broken off them. That's a nice little bit of polished agate. More perfume bottles. More matchbox dinkies. A couple of nice bits of Winton. Australian art reference. Australian pottery goblets. Here's a nice book there. The Dogs of the British Islands. Another nice little gilt Ormolu perfume atomizer. Some more nice crystal and glass. The one over the back with the gilding's lovely. More matchbox. A couple of nice atomizers. A little group of Australian pottery. A little pot on the right there is by Gus McLaren. Caithness perfume bottle. Some more nice books. Western Australian wildflowers. It's got lovely big sort of colour plates. Big reference book on La Leak. A couple of nice ones on paperweights. Ease the Ripper, the Gaelic Old Smuggler. Whiskey Caref. Never had a stopper in it. There's no marks on the inside where a stopper's been. So it's a nice Caref. And there's another one over here as well. Robertson's Dundee Whiskey. But you can also see around the top there's never been a stopper in that. A couple of nice books. Pioneer Crafts of Early Australia, Chandeliers and Billy T, Tiffany, Walker and Hall, Baccarat, Winston Churchill, Baccarat, Queenie, Watney's Red Barrel, a couple of nice perfume bottles, two nice bits of white horse, this little Shelley ashtray is a ripper of a little bit and quite rare, there is a damage underneath, which is a bugger, um, Victoria Illustrated book. Got another little nice little Worcester dish. Another nice decanter this time. The stopper's in that one. A little Baccarat, I think, Deco perfume bottle. A little signed, I think, American glass perfume bottle. And we've got some lovely stuff up the top. 
Arthur Rackham book, A Midsummer Night's Dream. And then there's another one over the back there, The Ryan Gold and the Valkyrie. Nice Disney board game. Looks to be complete. Made up in Sydney, I think, by John Sands. Just going to fix up that book. There we go. Italian Retro. It's like a factory floor here around the handle. There's a nice big blue overlay cut. Nice Czechoslovakian glass. This is quite nice as well, but I think these red panels might have just been coloured in with texture. I'm not sure. You can see on the side there that it's not quite matching up. But anyway, it looks pretty good. Just don't look too closely at it. <laughs> There's another nice little one here as well. And the nice frosted glass one with the nude. Uh, we've got the fantastic Beswick bar statue. Dummel Diamond Works Wonders. He has great little bits of the 1950s look about him. Another lovely Italian Murano glass perfume bottle. Ripper big Malachite one. This is a nice bit. The Perthshire Creeth uh, mantle ornament. Really like this little Victorian porcelain, all hand painted, uranium glass. Uh, per Lutkin, lovely big yellow glass vase. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's some nice stuff in the auction this week, guys. Hopefully we see you on Thursday night. Be good.